Let's hope the trip bodies inside. Get you anything? Give us incomplete info again, the bitch. Doing what? A business opportunity. Cargo transport. Good for me to be quick and quiet. Interested? You ought to run this by a fixer first. Fuck the middleman. They're cash drained. Attitude like that won't get you far in this line of work. I don't need a consultant. I need a transporter. Will you do it or not? I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Yeah, everything except my pay. Don't worry, there's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty-free. Duty-free and detail-free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? Yeah, sure, I'm in. Good, I knew we'd find acceptable terms. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, no future. Once you locate it, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. <laughs> Till then, I guess. Hey, Judy, what's up? V, can you come over, Stat? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. I was... I was only gone an hour. How'd this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always when I went out. And I got back to... <sighs> Fuck. If I'd just known, I'd have... Checked her pulse? V. She's gone. Don't blame yourself. It won't solve anything. I should have sensed something. That it was off. <laughs> Stop. Couldn't watch you 24-7. She made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. 
Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! We're part of dead, don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. <sighs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Welcome to Night City, where your address says more about you than anything else. We should have never come here. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. <sighs> Bummer, Sig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. Know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Remember Fingers? How he said Evie was with him for four days? Yeah. Did say so. She disappeared from clouds a week before you turned up. Tom told me later. I couldn't sleep at night knowing that. I kept thinking, what the hell happened to those other three days? So, I did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. Had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. 
At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Then why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. I saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. I think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Hey. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? You've thought this through, Judy. Carefully. Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. No, someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so. What's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Mai. If she's not with us, we might as well throw our hands up in the air. Michael Maeda. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. You sure Michael's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her, and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around, then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. How well do you know this Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it.
Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. So in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. Get I'm it. ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around their systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mosques. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. <laughs> Guess it left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit, and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them, too. Now, how am I to deal with you? Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you.
You have no idea how valuable my time is. Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea. Think about it. It could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read, negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that.
that went smoothly. She totally blew us off. You know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? Have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Lying between patting you on the back as their friend and planning knifing you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I. Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. Just think, forget why we're here. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No. Me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody? Fine. Want you to do it. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end them. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean my go? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. In extreme cases, even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat levels. Residents of Arroyo and Watson are advised not to leave their homes after dark and always ensure easy access. Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> you 
Instead, I took her to a Ripper. Wish you a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. <laughs> Here's my token of gratitude. the ground floor to get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling, it was so fucking strong. You know, revenge isn't ever really worth it. People want to believe it'll be the miracle pill for their grief. But that's not how it works. Nothing I can do. What's up, Chu? Want some? I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Michael's empathy. <laughs> Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes, you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. We're gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V, and thanks. So, 
You got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? A and A, artichokes and avocado flavor, and zucchini for good measure. Ooh, fancy. So, I'll see you come evening. Gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips, turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind of plan. We'll go over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? Of course I'll be there. Hey V, come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it, good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? How are you? Okay, I guess, but, you know, sad as hell. Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. She likes such a gonk now. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Suddenly comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd, given how much work I gotta put into it. By the way, Forrest didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, I wonder why. He's not coming back. Doubt I need to explain why to you. Me? I've got no idea why. Remember that. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side too. You could murder someone and not remember a thing. 
Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There's split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. How'd you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally. Someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! Ah! You there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! <laughs> Gotta do some Please? cardio! If you got something to say, just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. V? Nice work, Judy. Outdid yourself. If you were to sell that, <laughs> you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. <laughs> happy now? I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it, then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but... It's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Hole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two-pronged assault. Loving it. <laughs> yeah, plan just my work. Maiko, I take it you're on board too. Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. So how about it, V? Um, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? 
Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. Oh, shit, I'll set not up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy? For real? No, don't want to hear it. But you- uh, but, Not a word. Ugh. Ah, uh, ah. V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, I'm better. I'm fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna clep. Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. This looks like a fucking antique museum. Then I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. That all you have to say? And she's nice. Six out of ten. Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Well, well, well. The Bushido collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays.
Someone likes getting their feet wet. Don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro. Who would have thought? Perilous future. Electropunk? I'd rather puke out my ears. I will. See you then. Let me go. I won't tell anyone. So glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. You nervous, Tom? How'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does, just a different program. You're great at that. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there.
And Maiko? Where's she? Meeting with Hiromi, to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. Remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. You got no time to deliberate, weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up for even a second, could cost you your life. You got it? All right, we going in? Let's do this. Head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. But then, everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. You gonna breach security? Get me in the penthouse? Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Gotta manage on your own. You not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. Besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. Okay. On my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. Inside of the house. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. For a single euro dollar in a symbolic gesture, provided that Kang Tao demonstrates commitment to eradicating the district's criminal presence. Today's final story is an unwelcome one for pet owners. The canine ownership tax will increase to one thousand euro dollars. All right, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful though, okay?
surveillance cam in front of the security room.
hoping you'd make less trouble getting here. Luckily, they're all jacked into virtues. It'd be game over otherwise. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. She tries too hard. Could have called off the guards, you know. Would have been quicker, simpler. I don't have that kind of authority yet. Why are there three guys? What's she planning? That's our target. You don't miss that, Don't have authority yet? <laughs> you sound damn sure of yourself. Left no room for error. We're exactly where we need to be. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? target audience of today's presentation. If you don't me answers to them directly, now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? All right, I'll do what I can. Jack him out. Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sado's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking with such zeal? Hold on, Michael. I think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Dolls of Clouds are declaring their independence. Club will be run by them, and only them. V! Let me do the talking. Tiger Claws will get a cut of the revenue, but they'll have no say in how the club is run. Stop this right now! I'll get everything under control. You cannot even control your own mercenary. Hiromi will answer for his incompetence later. Whereas you will answer for your insolence now. No, you won't. Don't you dare touch me! Uh, don't you dare touch me! I are a blood! Uh, don't you dare touch me! Uh, don't you dare touch me! Oh, forgive him! Uh, Fiend, what the hell were you thinking? Do you have any idea what's gonna happen now? Matter of fact, I do. Either you walk away and never come back to Clouds, or I end you here and now. I see you got everything planned out, but you forgot just one thing. I've also got a doll chip. Find the elevator. 
Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gunk. Don't be dramatic, Judy. There's a difference between being a gonk and believing people want to do good. I know you do. You don't need to believe that. I just know it. Thank you. See you later, V. See you around, Judy. Hey, Jude, what's up? I got good days, got bad days. Same as ever. You, uh, call just to see how I'm doing, or...? Not just. Got a favor to ask you. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. No chance in your company. But now that we've <laughs> blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission require you to have no gun, just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I am intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <laughs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. <laughs> you really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. Alright then, count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Uh, sure, what about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay. Uh, is this a date? <laughs> You're not my type, Holmes. Just show up. I'll see you there. Navy. After all that went down, I thought you and I'd be ancient history. Don't be a gonk. Any news from the Moxes? Events? Ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes is all. 
So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy. Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech and how the world's going to shit? Just rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it? Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work ever. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why do we come all the way out of here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes man. What do you say? You in? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh... Let's go. Got the hardware here. All right. Suit up, landlubber. Let's get this scroller on ya. Mind coming closer? Haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? 50-50 chance, I guess. Willing to risk it for the footage. Water's toxic. That not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. Don't go there, dude. All right, let's do this. Freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Close behind me, and don't descend too fast. Exactly. About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? Nah, why bother? I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings. Songs. They're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing. Trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form.
This is it. Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me. Swim. Great. Motion calibrated. Back my way now, V. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. No idea what the song is, but I heard it. Go something like. to profit. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? Want to get the right emotional reactions. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why does this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time, gear, stars weren't ever aligned. The truth is, the very idea just felt weird. Got something here. 
Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. You like it? Are you kidding? It's awesome. skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit smoothing out for our music of the view. Coming! Coming! Dead meat anyway! for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? Nah, not much. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Nomad life for you. Can't be a fussy eater or you'll get no food at all. Anyway, all kinds of food tastes better with just a little burn. Here, take this camera. Better off in your hands than sitting here collecting algae. About your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. I still have her picture, but, you know, I see a stranger there. What was that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. What was it like, living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things, technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told, ugh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. Still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. You looking for anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. Feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. Good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. place in an underwater world. Mm. Bottled water? 
Touche, Judy. Touche. Just kids toys and nothing else. Wanna see what's further on? Come on then. Wanna show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid? Where daily life grinded along? Can imagine it a bit. Passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Don't know. Didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful. Easy now. So, you're saying 
You saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You... heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Stay where exactly? We gonna camp on the shore? No, in there. Crash there sometimes after dives. How about it? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but... Then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Ah, forgot to start the generator. I can turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. All those people from the town. It's depressing. Most nomads have a story like that. And all of them began with the same thing. Displacement. Speaking of harm's way, harm's way. Know what I see, know what I see. Walking, talking corpses. Power's up. Judy? What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. About Evelyn. Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw No Next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want you to think I blame you in any way. Why would you even assume I'd think that? Dunno, I... I'm sorry. Let's just kill the subject. I think I'll go lie down. I'm beat. Okay. Uh -huh. 
This chick gets on my nerves. Let's you and me blow. Just don't wake her up. Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people? And that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. She reminds you of Alt, doesn't she? Oh, for no, nobody's even close to Alt and what me and her had. Let's get the fuck away, can we? You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this. Sentimental. Waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. You know, yesterday I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. City's chewed me up. And spitting me out. You know why I came to Night City? Because I thought it offered opportunities you couldn't come by anywhere else. Now, it feels like I'm standing in quicksand. There's no way to live. For anyone. I feel you. I... I can't leave Night City. Not yet. But someday... Who knows? Give me your hand, B. Why? What for? Don't say anything. Just give me your hand. All set. Congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa, you're asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. It really shows trust. Take care, B. This really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, B. See ya. And. Hit me up on the hollow sometimes. I'll see you, Judy.
Oh, before I forget, some lady called me, Elizabeth something, said she had a job for someone with an eye for virtues. Told her to drop you a line. It's nice of you to think of me, Judy. Hey, don't mention it. I just hope she's worth the eddies. As far as cases go, yeah, it was interesting. Hope the same went for your comp. What else is going on besides that? Oh, you know, same old. Rather hear what you've been up to. You don't miss Night City at all. Um, it's too soon. I still remember the noise, the smell, everything. So, how's life away from civilization? You mean Night City? Ugh. You should see Oregon. This is how life's meant to be lived. So what do you do nowadays? I'm taking things easy for now, but I'll get back to work soon. I've got an idea for an experimental virtue cycle. Let's talk about something else. Go for it. I'm driving right now, so it's perfect timing. What's new with the mocks? Susie isn't giving me the time of day, as usual. Couldn't you replace Susie and lead the mocks? <laughs> no way in hell. I'll stick with tuning virtues, thank you very much. If you haven't noticed, I'm not much of a people person. How'd you hook up with the mocks in the first place? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. I believed in them. Winded up business as usual. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. Few Joy Toys lives really change for the better thanks to them. I got another question on my mind. Shoot. How's Virtue tuning going? Scroll anything preem lately? Depends what you'd call preem. Does smut count? Guess I kinda have to be into a little bit of everything. When it comes to virtues, I'm mostly in it for the intel. You mean seeing who killed who using what? Eh, something like that. But you see it differently. For you, it's art. I always wondered... Why the smut industry? 
Isn't it obvious? Two minutes of real feels a week's pay. Yeah, sure, but I thought someone like you wouldn't be into the whole objectification thing. Objectification? Not in my virtues. My actors love what they do, and that's why everyone wants to feel them. Can't fake old school emotions. How'd you get into virtues anyway? I always had a techie streak ever since I was a little kid. When I felt my first virtue, I was like, hey, I can make this way better. So I tried, and I did. And then it just snowballed from there. Something else I wanted to talk about. Got all the time in the world.